Hi everyone, back with you with another delicious, brilliant speciality. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make masala lamb. I'm actually gonna make haddi wala masala lamb, so on the bone, but you can use boneless diced lamb for this. That's absolutely fine. So let's get started on masala lamb. My heat needs to be on a medium. And I need to begin with some vegetable oil. So veg oil in my pan. And just wait for my oil to heat. And then I need to go in with some cumin seeds. So I'm gonna wait until my oil is heated. I need to go in with also some star anise. So lamb goes well with whole spices like the star anise, black cardamom, as black cardamom has a really nice smoky flavor. So it flavors the lamb really well. Uh, also some bay leaves that I want to put in as well, just a few and also a cinnamon stick. So cinnamon, bay leaf, black cardamom, star anise really, really pair well with red meat dishes and I always add them to my lamb dishes or we do at the restaurant. So in fact, let's break the cinnamon stick in half. So I've got quite a big cinnamon stick, I've just broken that into half. So let's go in with that as well as the cumin seeds too. Okay, just waiting for those to, uh, to sizzle already. I can begin to hair that sizzle. And when I hair that, I'm gonna go in with the rest of my whole spices. So star anise, a nice licorice-like flavor. Black cardamom for a nice smoky flavor. And then the bay leaf um, as well, dried bay leaf. Perfect. Put my heat a little bit higher now. Okay, just give that a mix, and already you can smell the intensity of those whole spices. Now, whilst they are just heating, I'll show you my lamb. So, I've got diced lamb. I asked the butcher to dice it into small tikka like pieces, and there's some bone um, in there as well. And obviously, the bone makes it taste really, really nice. So, some of them bone marrow. There you go, really, really. Well, not, not too small, but the pieces are, yeah, a nice tikka-sized piece, I call that. Okay, my spices are sizzling in the oil, and what you don't want to do at this stage is burn your spices, as they will start to pop and spit at you, like that just did on meat. There you go, I'm gonna put my onions in now as well. So just be careful, because this is quite um, vigorous when it sizzles. I just hope I didn't get it on my knife top, but it's okay. Alrighty. Okay, and now I am at that stage where I am caramelizing my onions. So I don't just want them see-through. I don't um, even want them golden. I don't even want them brown. I want them really nice and caramelized. And once they're nice and caramelized, I will then go in with my green chili and my ginger and garlic. So this is ginger and garlic in equal amounts, fresh, made into a paste, and the green chili is basically fresh green chilies made into a paste in a little uh, grinder. So it will take now probably my onions about four to five minutes just to heat and caramelize as I want them. So let me go ahead and brown my onions. Okay, so my onions are nice and caramelized just perfect exactly as i want them i'm going to go in now with my ginger and garlic paste and also my green chili paste needs to go in at this stage as well so ginger garlic in and green chili and it will start to sizzle a little bit more at this stage and that's fine and now this is a masala which we are not going to blend because we'll of course it's got all the whole spices in there so we don't need to blend that so what I've done is chop the onions as fine as I can and I've also pureed my plum peel tomatoes so I've just used a blender to puree that right my ginger garlic and my chilies just need another few seconds in fact what I can do at this stage as well is get my butter in to give the sauce a nice smooth texture this is an essential ingredient of masala lamb because you want it to be nice and smooth. And now 
that is surely ready for my plum peel tomato, which goes in. And before this actually starts to spit at me even more, the joys of cooking Indian food, I'm going to add um, some of the spices. So firstly, I need some coriander powder. I need to add some cumin powder. Oh, it's already starting to bubble. I better take a step back. And I need to add some turmeric for color. Uh, great medicinal properties and values, great digestive with turmeric as well. And then I need some red chili powder. This red chili is quite strong, so I'm gonna go a little bit easy uh, on that. I need some salt at this stage as well. So these are tiny, tiny spoons. It might look like I'm adding a lot, but I'm not. These are tiny spoons. Okay, and then garam masala, obviously, always at the end, as you all know now. Okay, and my masala is on a medium heat. And again, you know this, I don't think I need to tell you this now. Uh, you need to cook your masala out until it splits. So let me show you it now. And then once it's done, I'll show you again. So again, this is going to take about four or five minutes and I'm gonna mix it, uh, give it a mix every like uh, one minute or so. So let's give that about four or five minutes on a medium heat cooking out my masala. Right, so my masala is looking good. So you can see it's proper cooked out. Any water that comes off the lid needs to go back in so all that taste retains. Okay, I need to show you this, see this? It split really well. I've been giving it a mix every minute or so. It's exactly as I want it. It's definitely not gacha, it's proper cooked the way I want it, so that is ready for my lamb. So like I said, I'm using on the bone lamb. You don't have to use on the bone lamb, you can use boneless lamb, and that's gone into my masala. And this is really good quality lamb, so it's not gonna take very long to cook. And what I want to do is add my water to my lamb as well, and then Keep mixing it every one minute or so and then we'll have a look at it after about 10 minutes so keep that covered and we'll come back to it in 10 minutes but like I said keep mixing it every one minute uh, or so because you just want everything um, to kind of mix well together and you don't want anything to get stuck at the bottom so this has been cooking for 10 minutes now with the lamb in any water like I said needs to go back in and I have been giving it a stir every one, one or so minutes. Let's give it another mix. It's boiling, cooking really well, and there's enough moisture in here at this stage. I don't need to add any more water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a good mix. Put the lid on again, and cook away for another 10 to 15 minutes this time. Right, this has been on for about 13 minutes now and as you can see most of the water has evaporated so what I want to do is get the rest of my water in give this a mix and the lamb's cooking really really well I've been checking it every few minutes so that time is a little bit longer about 13 minutes I left it so I'm going to leave it for another 10 to 12 minutes because the lamb is still not cooked. Right, this has been on now for just under 10 minutes. And it's cooking well, but I can see it needs some more water. The lamb is not cooked. It's quite hard still. So it definitely needs a bit more water. So let's go in with some more water. Give it a mix and again give it another 10 to 15 minutes okay so this has got to be cooked now that's been on for additional 15 minutes the trick is guys you just keep adding water until your lamb is basically cooked so I've already taken a piece out I tested it and the texture of the lamb is 
perfect. So you can see that masala is really sizzling and it's nice and velvety. It's just perfect, exactly how I want it. I'm gonna go in there with my fresh chopped coriander. As always, saving a bit for garnish. You know my style by now. Okay, and uh, garam masala. So this is our special, brilliant 15 spice garam masala. And that is the king of spice. And that is actually the game changer in a curry. You always add it towards the end of the cooking making process when you're making a curry. So it retains all that flavor. And that's the difference between a good curry and an amazing or a brilliant curry, I should say. So my lamb is actually perfectly cooked. It took a bit longer than I thought it would take. And again, that just depends on the type of lamb um, that you have. I mean, all in all, this has taken about an hour to cook from start to finish, um, which is still really, really good. My, my lamb is sure good quality meat. Um, but again, depends on what cut of lamb you buy. It could take a bit longer. And I'm just cutting through this one. It's cutting easily. So I know with my stick test again, that my masala lamb is now cooked to perfection. In fact, it looks really good. It needs nothing else. And that is looking good. So I'm gonna switch off the heat. The masala is, it looks really, really nice, guys. There you go. So I'm gonna show you. That is my finished masala lamb. Please have a go at that. Everyone, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do watch on Facebook and Instagram and keep repeating it. And all my recipes, as you know, are under my recipe videos. I hope you've enjoyed that today. So that is Brilliant Style Masala Lamb Cooked to Perfection. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay happy. Bye-bye.